Our next step involves testing our hypotheses by generating a numerical summary of the evidence against the null hypothesis. To do this, we develop something called a test statistic, which is just that. A test statistic is a numerical summary of the degree to which our sample is unlike the samples predicted by the null hypothesis. Now in our case, the test statistic will just embody the degree to which our sample mean is unlike the population mean after treatment, assuming the null hypothesis is true. In this case, the degree to which 106 is different from 100. Now we want to do this in a way that is context-free, a standardized way. And the way we saw before was forming a z-statistic. In specific, a z-statistic for our sample mean, which is just called the z-test. And notice what the z-test is characterizing. We are finding the deviation between our observed sample mean and the mean of a sampling distribution assuming the null hypothesis is true. And we're dividing that by the standard error, the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of sample means. So what this test statistic is doing is placing our sample in that distribution of sample means assuming the null hypothesis is true. And assuming the null hypothesis is true just means we're taking samples at random. And we know a lot about the characteristics of the sampling distribution if we're simply taking random samples. This is what we saw before. So our z-test is simply finding our location in the distribution of sample means, but doing it in a standardized way. Notice for every population, the actual distribution of sample means will have units that correspond to whatever the population units are. But once we've z-scored the distribution of sample means, we'll have that unit normal distribution to which we can compare our single sample mean. So in testing hypotheses, we're simply collecting our data and forming that test statistic, that one value that tells us where is our sample mean among all the different sample means we could have gotten from a population with the null is true.